I'm Lee from the design team here at Evolution, and today we're talking about reciprocating saws. Not just any old reciprocating saws, but specifically this new Evolution R150 RCP LI lithium ion. It's a cordless saw. This makes it ideal for all kinds of remodeling and demolition work. So if you're interested in one of these, or perhaps you just wish to learn more, you should stick around. We've got all the specs and information for this little guy coming right up. So with that being said, let's get into it. Now, anyone who's familiar with power tools knows that most of the time we use these to make precise cuts. We put in so much engineering talent and manufacturing skill to make our saws as accurate and precise as can be. You know, you want your miter saws and table saws to be precise. So, what do you do when you just need to tear something down, cut something off, or get something out of the way? Hmm, reciprocating saws. Like this bad boy here, these are like the wrecking crew of saws. Well, maybe a bit crude in nature for some, these powerful and incredibly versatile saws are invaluable to a really wide range of contractor applications and even some other professions. So although, some people may not consider a reciprocating saw the essential tool for a DIY hobbyist. If you're just starting out, we beg to differ. These saws are awesome. They have a ton of uses, they work with a whole range of blades, and they can be fun to use too. We'll go over all the essential information you need to know about reciprocating saws, including what they're for, what they're best working at, how they work, a few tips on how to get the most out of yours, and basically all the details you'll want to know before you buy one for yourself. So here at Evolution, we've had a reciprocating saw in our lineup for a few years now. It all started with this legacy tool right here, which some of you, if you've been around as long as I have, you may remember this as the Rage 8. This was a popular option among the trades from landscapers, handymen, whether it was a you know, quick and effective option for dismantling a pallet, pruning of small trees, this here guy, it made easy work of whatever job was thrown at it. Now, a few years later, the opportunity came for myself to take what's good about our old Rage 8 and redevelop a fresh new reciprocating saw for Evolution. This is how this guy was born, the R230 RCP. I have my hands on this, we'll give you a run through and a comparison of the old saw, the new saw, and the other ones here, leading up to our fresh little guy here, the R150 RCP, our new cordless one. We're happy to introduce. You guys are going to want to see some real world action, so we'll make a few different cuts with these saws to show you how it works from your typical stud timber rough cuts to surgically dismantling a pallet. There's no need for a crowbar when you've got one of these. Then we'll finish with the main event, which is cutting through a car hood. That's a bonnet if you prefer. Anyway, we got one taken off one of my neighbor's old cars. I think it's a Mark II Ford Fiesta. I hope it goes back together nicely for him. So what we'll do, we're going to cut the hinges off of a donor piece so he can weld them back onto another hood that's less rusty. The one he gave me is completely toast. It's beyond repair. I don't recommend you doing this to chop the top on your mom's new Audi, but it's good to know that you could if you wanted to. Anyway, you can effectively cut through a car door or roof with one of these. They use them to chop the top. These are different blades supplied with the machine. You get to see both the multi-material blade and the thin steel blades in action. So, if you're interested in learning more about any of these reciprocating saws, or you just want to see some good old-fashioned car cutting, well, click on through to the link below to the Evolution Power Tools website, where you can enjoy the full tool guide. If you already have this saw, if you have another Evolution tool, maybe you just need a little support or information, please do drop by, ask a question, and we'll get back to you. 